I just wanted to share my whole Stila warehouse winter sale experience. Um, I bought a whole bunch of stuff, probably too a little too much, but it was it was really nice. And they had like boxes full of stuff, just up to the little flyer said up to fifty to eighty percent off on everything. So. The eyeshadows, I believe, were like $4 each, and foundations were like 10 when they were originally like over $20, something like that. It was crazy. Um, it was pretty crowded. I got there a little bit later, closer towards the end of it, because it, it was only between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m., and we got there around... Maybe like two ish, one forty five. Anyway, it was very it was very um hectic and a lot of like busy you know, people like digging through the boxes and all that good stuff. So this one here is my bag of goodies. Ooh Stila. Instead of me like holding it up and saying, Oh, here's what I got, blah blah blah. I'm just gonna show like swatches and stuff because that's all people really care about. Anyway, I, w I haven't really tried anything from Stila's line, so I didn't get. I if I was a huge fan of it or really familiar with their line, I probably would have gotten really crazy, but I didn't. What got me was I've recently tried or I recently got the the lip the little lip glazes in that holiday set, and I've been in love with these lip glazes I'm wearing right now star fruit I have star fruit on right now and I'm just in love with these lip glosses like I love lip gloss and these are really really high up on my list of favorites so I went to the sale the big sale in hopes of scoring like super crazy deals on the lip glaze but of course I saw everything else and you know, like every other makeup addict, you see stuff and it looks pretty. Even though you can't try it on, you still want it anyway. Just because you want to be able to have that. Just to go home and try it on. And even if you don't like it, you'll still be happy that you have it. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. So, I'll just show and share what I got. So, starting it off, this is the Stila Barbie, I guess, collaboration. So inside is a bunch of this stuff. So here is the palette and it comes with two eyeshadows and a blush. And I'm just using this on top of some concealer so you can just see the color itself. This one is okay. A little bit ashy, but the brown is the brown is good. And then for the blush in this area. So that's that. And then the mascara. And here is a lip glaze. This is called Foxy. This looks very bright and intense, but I have a feeling it's going to be a bit more sheer. More sheer than anything. Oops. Or maybe not so sheer, but maybe it is on the lips. Because I did use a little bit too much. Okay, yeah. See? Nothing crazy. It is a bit more sheer, depending on how you apply it. Next is the Kitten Collection. Wow, super fancy. All for two things. Yeah, you can see. I think for me, someone of my color, I could see this working as a really nice highlight. I think it would be very pretty. This will most likely <laughs> end up being in my purse for like forever because it'll probably be a new favorite. I like this shimmer, but it's not like glitter. It's just very almost nude on me but with like a glisten of like gold. I love it. Next is the Boldly Beautiful Eyeshadow Palette. They're very pretty to me. We'll see how it goes because I've never tried these before so I'm not sure how I'll actually like them but just looking at it, it's very attractive, yeah? I'll start with this one, the most neutral one of the bunch.
so far I can tell or I can feel like just using it with my brush that they're very soft these are all shimmery oops but they're all shimmery and soft in texture so I'm pretty sure that they're very easy to blend next is this little set of I guess these are like lip glosses but probably I have a feeling they're a bit more intense in color so this one is called happiness This one is called Tickled Pink. Yeah, that's a bit more intense than happiness. I like that a lot. And lastly, this one is called Joy. Oh, these are, I really like these so far. This is a nice deep red. So these are Lip Enamel Luxe Glosses. Not your typical lip gloss. Next is this 24 karat lip gloss little set. These came highly recommended by Purse Buzz. I actually heard about this sale from Purse Buzz because she posted the flyer or whatever on Twitter and so she said to make sure to get these. This first one is called Golden Charm. This next one is called Precious Coral. This one is Radiant Sunset. And lastly, this one is called Vintage Merlot. They're pretty sheer, but with, as you can see, tints of the color. And these are the last of the lip products that I got today. These did not all come together. So I bought these individually. And this is called Minty Mint. You can't even really see that it's there. But I like glosses like that. This one is called Citrus Mint. And lastly, this is just a regular lip glaze. This one is called Sugar Plum. It's a little bit more there in color. I like the color a lot. This one is a longwear lip color pencil and I actually got this for my makeup kit for my clients. Getting to the face stuff, I got all of these. These are all also individually bought. I mainly got this for my kit as well for my lighter to medium skin client. And this is also for my kit. It just looks like bronzing cream to me. I would use this as a contour color and then possibly highlight. And the tinted moisturizer, this is for me. This is deep. At first I thought maybe it was too dark, so I tried the warm, which was the light, the next lighter one. And that was just too pale for me. But once you move it around, it blends in really well, I think. These are actually blushes, but this one in particular caught my eye because I really just wanted to have it as an eyeshadow instead, so. <laughs> but this one is called Clay, and these are both matte. I w I'm actually going to be using that as blush. Because it reminds me of Max Mocha Blush. And then this one is called Dance. This is the one that I'd want to use as an eyeshadow. It's all the same, you know. <laughs> this is a smudge pot and it is called Electric Blue. So I scraped some out just so you could see what it looks like if you were to use it as a base or eyeliner. It's pretty pretty intense in color. Lastly, I got these six eyeshadows. First one is called Prize. Next one is called Oasis. This is Ray.
And this one, I will choose not to murder the name, so I will let you read it for yourself. Let me know what it's supposed to sound like. This one, I believe, is called Batura. And lastly, this is either Sajama or Sajama. So now one last thing. I overheard some women kind of discussing how it was such a shame that the eyeshadows and blushes and whatnot came only in palette form. Well, that is no big deal. You can just go buy your own palette. I recommend the Z palette because it's like a big thing. It's magnetized and you can put anything. These are my Makeup Forever eyeshadows up here. Pop them in there and they're good to go. Clear top case so you can always see what you're reaching for. And I got this palette from Nigel's Beauty Emporium in Valley Village. You gotta go. So that's it. I'm not really sure how often Stila does this. I don't know if it's like seasonal or maybe it's just once a year. I'm not really sure. This is just all very brand new to me. We'll see how it goes and hopefully I'll be able to incorporate all that stuff into my videos. So, you know. I'll let you know how it goes as I use it. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching and subscribing if you have. Bye.